anyone has about Islam. That is a that is my obligation and love anyway. That encourages me to do so. Then you are the one I want to talk with. I would like to talk to you on an open forum so other people can also read and learn and to make comments. That's an excellent idea on your part. How about if we cut and paste what we write to each other in private, break it up and put it in comment form on videos we make in case one of our videos gets flagged and pulled off by narrow-minded who don't like facts, we can uh, then point others to what we have placed in comment form on the other guy's video. My ambition is to talk to people who are sincere about learning about Islam, not just to defend Islam against people who are just commenting for the love of talking only. I understand. However, I find myself uh, even talking with them a lot. So, if you can ask your questions openly for others to see, I am happy to answer all your questions. Deal? Deal. Uh, well, I tell you what, I'll, I'll pick out a video that has zero comments and hardly any views, and I'll put our comments from private message over there. Feel free to uh, do the same with uh, one of your with one of your videos you have created. Put in the exact same comments in case one of our videos gets deleted by the narrow-minded and thin-skinned. Also, to start this off, can you tell me what message it was you received from the Bible that got you to Islam? I bet it wasn't blood shed from some innocent animal, like a spotless lamb for the atonement of sin. That seems uh, so important in both the Old and New Testament, true? Okay, he doesn't respond here. But later on he does here. Okay, he says here. Hey brother, I'm happy with another, with our arrangement, and I would like to start with answering your first question. Okay. You said, quote, Can you tell me what message it was you received from the Bible that got you to Islam? I thought it wasn't blood shed from some innocent animal like a spotless lamb for the torment of sin that seems so important in both the Old and New Testament. So, well, I say, this is my response, I say, I can outline the reasons that the Bible bring me closer to Islam by saying that I saw a trend of prophets coming and leaving a mark on the earth with their revelations and they all prophesize a coming of another comforter to fulfill the, pre the previous teachings. You'll see that the trend in the Bible shows that it is as though there is a puzzle being put together and all the prophets possess a piece of the puzzle that will eventually, when put together, display a perfect picture of Allah's message. There was a build-up of a final prophet to come and a final revelation of a universal message and a message that will come and reveal all truths. By quote comforter and quote, you mean Muhammad and not what most Christians believe uh, what Jesus was talking about, the Holy Spirit. True? The thing is when Christianity kept saying to me that Jesus was the salvation, the last and the universal fulfillment of the puzzle per se, I couldn't swallow it because I saw that Jesus was also one of those that prophesied of another comforter to come, as is mentioned clearly in Mark. What made you think it was Muhammad and not the, the Holy Spirit, like, again, so many Christians believe? Mark calls it per Paraclete, Paraclete, of the Spirit of Truth. Muhammad is a spirit? You do see how it can also lead one to believe it's not a man, but the Holy Spirit, true? Jesus says, As you already would to know, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them all. You cannot bear them now. For when he, the Spirit of Truth, comes, he will guide you into all truths, and so on. Why couldn't Jesus uh, have said the, the man of truth? Jesus also says 
that he has come to the last house of Israel. As, a, as I have previously mentioned, true. This got me questioning the position of Jesus being supposed Lord in the Trinity. John 1.1 1, 1. If he is going to save humanity and the perfect being that he was supposed to be, then why would need then what then what need would there be for a spirit of truth to come? Uh, to save all humanity by getting them to realize that Jesus uh, died down the cross and rose again? He was clearly demonstrating that he was not the fulfillment of the puzzle and the universal message to humanity. Are you sure? In the contrary, he was there building up someone after him that would come to complete the final puzzle and give the humanity the, the finalized the perfect message, which later I discovered was Islam. So yes, I am thankful in a way for the Bible to bring me to the next step, which is Islam. Submission to the one and single Allah, which was demonstrated all through the Old Testament anyway. Demonstrated all through the Old Testament? If so, can you tell me what you think of blood atonement? What was the sacrifice of animals for atonement? Atonement for what? Also, what was a spotless lamb's blood spilled to keep the angel of death from killing the firstborn of Israel in Egypt? And what was a brazen snake on a stick held up by Moses so that anyone looking at it would recover from snake bite? I made a video to the latter to see if rabbis had an explanation for that. It's the first video I made in this account, I think. I believe Islam is a religion that Jesus pissed me upon him was prophesied because you believe the comforter is Muhammad and not the Holy Spirit I see well you got my curiosity about how Israel you got my curiosity up about how Islam is demonstrated through all the Old Testament doesn't Islam involve prostration to avoid eternal damnation in the fire if so can you show in the Old Testament how the Israelis were, pro were, were prostrating five times a day every day to avoid the fire like uh, they do in Islam. And again, can you tell me what blood atonement was for in the Old Testament? So far, no response, but then he responds here. Hey, brother. Hello. You say, why couldn't Jesus have said the quote, man of truth, unquote? Well, in those days, that was the language of the Bible. Are you sure? To prove that when a spirit is mentioned, it doesn't necessarily mean a spirit. The Bible also says God is spirit, but I bet you believe that that is when it really means spirit, true? But can also, well, it can also mean a human is the, is, is the well-known verse. It can also be, it also can be a human, as is the well-known verse. For there will come many false prophets. Oh, that's for sure. Test the prophets, whether they are from God. Exactly. The spirit who confesses that Jesus is the Christ is of God. That sounds biblical. You will also find many verses in the Bible where, this, where the word spirit means human. Such as... Can you provide some scriptures, please? Also, on a side track, Muhammad Sass meets the criteria in accordance to the Bible. By saying Jesus didn't go to the cross like most angels, uh, gospels have it. Uh, because he confesses that Jesus is the Christ. And the criteria is straightforward. As, as, as straightforward the person who confesses is, is of God. If the Holy Spirit is mentioned as you say, then Jesus did not come for, for, uh, the, the, with the fulfillment, with the fulfilled Bible of Christianity. Uh, the letters of St. Paul. Because he says, when he comes, he will guide you into all truths. That can't be the Holy Spirit Jesus is talking about. If it can't be the Holy Spirit Jesus is talking about, please provide answers as to why it can't be the Holy Spirit that Jesus is talking about. That means, Jesus, that without his duty being fulfilled, 
Are you sure? Then by that logic, Jesus did not come for all humanity. The letters of St. Paul, Paul preached the risen Christ uh, for Jew and Gentile for the dispensation of the age of grace, which is an era we are going through now, I I really believe. With a, with a perfected religion and a complete message, what makes it complete by your estimation? To me, Jesus completes it by having St. Paul go to the Gentiles, as well as the Jews, for this dispensation, the, quote, age of grace, unquote. He needed the Holy Spirit to come and finish business he did not finish. Again, how is the Holy Spirit, not the Holy Spirit, the Christians believe, but Muhammad? Isn't the sentry's phone? 